Hello, welcome to exercise two of lesson one, Mastering Java. Uh, here we want to declare and initialize an array of type double named daily temp, which will have seven elements. This array holds the high temperature recorded on seven days of a given week. Initialize the array to the following data when you declare it. And we give some uh, some data that has decimals in it. So basically we're creating an array called daily temperatures, uh, seven elements. It was going to hold doubles inside, which means we want to hold decimals. And so we have seven uh, decimal values we want to put in here. So this could be Monday's temperature, Tuesday's temperature, Wednesday's temperature, and so on. And then we want to print out the information to the screen uh, that's stored in that array. We want to initialize the array to the following data when I declare it. So we want to store this information into the elements of the array as the array is created. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. Let's go down here. And so first we're going to declare the array. I'm going to call it daily temp. This tells it uh, tells Java that we have an array. The type of data stored in the array is double, which means floating point or decimal data. And then on the right hand side, notice we have the curly brace with the elements of the of the array listed here. So we have them in order 87.5, 90.0 and so on exactly in the order the data was given. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements with values specified between the curly braces. That means that when this array is created, it will allocate memory for seven elements and it will put this information into those elements. So on the right hand side, we don't have to use the new keyword like we do, like we did in the previous example, because here we're specifying what we're putting inside of it. And so Java is smart enough to know what to do with that. And so here we have a few print statements. Uh, Monday's high temp was, and we'll just access the first element, which is using a zero here for the index, this many degrees Fahrenheit. Then for Tuesday, the high temp was, and then the next element of the array, degrees Fahrenheit, and so on. So we're just using multiple print statements to um, run through here. We have array going from zero to six. Those are all seven elements that we have allocated there. Uh, and have the information there. So we don't have to have a separate storing statement to put these values in. We do that upon initialization of the array when we declare it. So let's go ahead and hit the run button and see what we get. Monday's high temp was 87.5, Tuesday's high temp was 90, and you can see going down Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, these are all different values which correspond to the values that we initialized. So the very last value here was 89.2, and Sunday, which would be the last guy in the array, was 89.2. So we're just mostly getting practice with declaring an array and initializing it with numeric data uh, when we declare it, and then using uh, the contents of the array to print information to the screen. 